everyone. Thanks for coming back to the channel again. Uh, if you're a subscriber, you probably have already seen my dual Z-axis upgrade video where we added a uh, another stepper motor here. Now, the only thing with this uh, kit that we already put on, the only thing about it that I didn't like was when the steppers are off and you push on one side, this stepper motor can go down or up independently slightly a couple millimeters of the the main stepper motor so that's the drawback with that dual z kit however i did find another kit which replaces the uh, screws here and they're a little bit longer and then adds a belt on the top so uh, the reason i didn't do the belt before was because i had that dryer box filament dryer box sitting up here and i didn't want to mess with it and it wasn't too hard for me to level these things just with a block. So uh, since we moved this printer, we're not using the dryer uh, box anymore. So we're going to install the belt on the top and we'll get started. So obviously our first steps are going to be to loosen this coupler right here and then the one over here. Uh, we'll be able to keep this intact and just unscrew the rod We'll remove this holder here, and we'll have to remove this holder as well, and probably change this uh, filament guide out for something else. So today I'm lucky I have an assistant helping me with the project. Normally it's just me trying to juggle the camera and everything else. All right, so we got the screws out on the bottom, and I'm just having my helper hold the uh, gantry and it, by the extruder there while we unscrew this original Z-axis rod. Okay, then we just pull this one out. That one's a little bit shorter. We have new ones that are longer that will be able to mount uh, the belt on the top. We've got our uh, Z screws out now on both sides and we've got our gantry propped up there so that it doesn't fall on the bed and mess up the nozzle or anything. Now we're going to install the new Z rods. All right so we just thread these down through the existing hardware there. Just screw it right on down. Pretty simple process really until you get to the top and you try to sink the steppers. Both the Z screws are in now and they look to be approximately the same height. Got everything pretty much leveled down there and the Allen screws are tightened. The next part we're going to put the Z axis rod holder together. And you can see I've already got this one done, just those two small screws. And you press this bearing in through the hole, just like that. And then you put these two screws in to make it look like this. I wanted to point out also that this video, since we've already got the dual Z stepper motor installed, um, we are not using this part. Like that was in the previous video with the dual Z stepper motor. So we will not use this today. If you don't have the dual Z kit with the motor on it already, there are plenty of other videos out there that will show how to put this kit on without the stepper motor. Now we're gonna to put together the center wheel that puts tension on the belt. Put the two halves together and then the plastic spacer like that. And then you take your lock wash or your lock nut. Actually it's a nylock technically. and you just thread it on the bottom. Get a wrench and then a screwdriver and tighten it all up. 
All right, so that is tightened up, as you can see. And next, we're going to put the uh, T-nuts on the plate. Okay, so the screws, the short screws go down through the top, like you can see there. And then the T-nut will go on the bottom of those so that it holds onto the top rail. Okay, so the bolts at the top here get replaced. So we pulled those two bolts out and then this plate goes right on top. And then the kit came with two replacement screws. And if you haven't seen the other videos, we've got several Creality Ender 3 V2 videos, troubleshooting, and uh, some upgrade videos. Be sure to check that out. Subscribe if you would. We do not have a thousand subscribers, and that's the magic number if you're a YouTube producer. Follow the links below in the description. Helps support our channel. Costs you nothing extra. We are an Amazon affiliate. Then we're going to do the other side. Remove the bolts out of the top of the gantry rail. Also, we've got some videos on the Prusa Mach, sorry, MK3S Plus. Be sure to check those out as well. We've had the Ender 3 V2 for a little over a year and done some upgrades on it but decided to go with the Prusa since we print quite a bit and uh, actually try to run a little business with it. Here's our trus trusty Prusa MK3 S Plus working away on one of our products. Now, even if you're not interested in the Prusa, uh, we have done a video with it on how to install the Raspberry Pi 4B along with Octoprint. And so um, even though that video is not on the Ender, it's the same process, so you might want to check that out. Now we're putting this black spacer on the top along with the pulleys. So one thing we noticed on the uh, instructions with the kit was that they had these gears upside down and you don't want that because then the belt doesn't line up properly with this wheel in the center. So we flip these gears, we, we leave them loose until we put the belt on and I'll show you why. Um, if you put the belt on here, oh, so we're putting the belt on, if you try to put it on without taking that gear off first, it's, you're gonna have a hard time slipping it over. So that's the way you wanna do it. And then all that's left here is to tighten these Allen screws on that one side, but we're gonna leave this side loose so that we can level the gantry rail down there. So it's really important that you do not tighten these with the belt on yet. You want to level the gantry down here with some level piece spacer of some sort. Here we've got an exacto box, which is really nice. It's level all the way across, perfect size. So we just screw the gantry down until both sides rest evenly. Nice and snug against the box. Just get down here and take a look for, see if there's any gaps. Just should be resting lightly. Not pulling and twisting the whole mechanism. Now he's tightening up the final gear. So we got that level and uh, the next step is going to be doing the whole leveling process. Now I did another video 
a few weeks back with the Ender 3 V2 on just the rough back to basics leveling and you probably want to watch that that'll bring you all through this whole process but uh, for now our installation is good it's done we've got two stepper motors one that I did in another video and then the uh, top drive belt to keep these steppers in sync when your machine is turned off because if you don't have this you're always going to be moving that gantry on accident and it's no fun so anyway please subscribe like it if you want and follow the links below in the description for the products thanks for watching